Okay guys, so now we've finally gotten to the point where we have an email dialog. So we will move our card over to testing and let's have a look at it. So this is the component basically. You create a compose and you get this little dialog box here where you can fill out some information and if you try to submit it without it being submit, uh, submittable or like if not all the fields are filled out, we have to fill them out. And yeah, basically that's it. And then we have multi lines, all of that good stuff. And then we can cancel if we wanted to, and we can open up again and just send in. We don't have any validation or anything like that just yet. It's just just to kind of illustrate that you get the component in place. If we hit send, we get the successful send dialog that tells us, hey, hey our email was just sent, but this is of course just faked on the server. So let's have a look at the code. So the component that has been added now is this compose email component and among a few others, but let's just walk through this first and foremost. So the way that we're doing this is basically we're using the dialog, uh, the dialog component that is provided to us from material UI. And basically all we're doing here is that we're passing in the state variable called open to determine whether or not the dialog is going to be shown or not and then we have an on cancel and an on send and the reason why we want to pass that in will hopefully become obvious in just a little moment and then we have some text fields and um, two actions where you saw earlier there you can you, you can cancel or you can send that that's basically it really and if we have a look at the navigation bar now, so the navigation bar has gotten, gone through a little bit of an update and we'll have to walk through this, but basically the, the navigation bar is the parent of the Compose email component. So it lives inside of it and the reason why it does so is because it holds the, um, well, it holds the button, like the initiator, the action that is going to trigger the, f the fact that we are showing the like the compose email component and that's this function here. So basically what's going to happen is that you, when you click the compose button, you're going to set we are going to set compose email open on the state to true and then yeah, basically we're going to pass that down to the compose email component and together with the on cancel and the on send. So it becomes a very natural point for a, this is a, like the most natural place for us to put all of this code because it's the, the this component is basically responsible for opening and handling the uh, the model that we're showing. So on cancel is just going to set compose the email open to to false, and then on send is a little bit special where basically what we're doing is that we're passing the on send to the form, and when the form gets sub submitted. We just prevent the default behavior because if we don't do that, the form will be submitted, like your browser will submit it, and we will see a page refresh. And that's not what we want. We want to handle all this through JavaScript. So we grab the event and we get the target, which is in this case going to be the form. The target of this event is the form. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. And as we saw earlier here, we have actually named each of these fields according to the value that they hold and so we're going to grab, grab the recipients the subject and the message and then i created this little convenience constructor here which basically just takes in these values and constructs the request that we're going to send to the server so this is basically just grabbing the data creating it and putting it into an object setting the method to post and setting the content type to application json because we're going to send it through using json and then we put it in the body and we just return the request and of course we have uh, we have a test for this as well it's always good to put a test for any type of expected serialization or stuff of that nature so that we we basically know what model we we're working with and then finally we do a try catch or around all of this because hey we're using async await which means that this might throw an error and then we send our network call to slash email so we post to slash emails and as you can see here oh almost full and as you can see here this is right now just faked I've just added this endpoint here where we we're gonna post our email and we just log out the body and that's, that's basically it. Later on we're going to actually store this and do some other fancy stuff, but for now this is good enough. And then we simply check if the response wasn't okay, because if 
for some reason something fails with the response, maybe there was an error on the server or we found that this was an invalid email or something like that, then basically what we want to do here is that we just want to parse the response because we've added this line here, which is just a bit of generic error handling using Express so that if we throw an error in any of these functions or something of that nature, we're simply going to hit this handler or this middleware here and we're going to set the sta status to 500. We might want to do something nicer because it's not great to just return 500, but for now it's going to be okay. And then we return an error with the error message. And the reason why we don't send back the actual error is because you should never ever send back the error itself because it might actually leak information. You want to be uh, in control of the message. Even this is a little bit sloppy, but it's good enough for now. And then we just re-throw an error that's going to contain the error message here. And the reason why we want to re-throw it is because if, uh, let's say that there's a network f failure of some sort, then we might, then fetch is going to throw an error. And it's not going to be this error. So we want to be consistent with the interface. And then finally, we are going to say that, okay, we basically just close the Compose email model and we show the success model or the success alert that indicates to the user that, hey, it was actually success, that we successfully sent the email. And if there's an error, we're simply going to sh close the model, set the error alert to sh be shown, and then we're going to pass it the error message. And that's why we want it to be consistent here and also here because dot message is a property on the error object that's why we want to grab the error that's coming from the server and just passing that pass that into the error so that it's consistent great and uh, do, 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 I think that's about it no actually we have one more thing to take a look at actually so we've had let's actually look at this thing here so we have this compose email outcome alert which is a very a little bit of a strained name, I, I have to admit, but the reason why I put that there is because we right now we have two different outcomes that can happen when we send an email. So we can succeed or we can fail, and we want to represent both. And instead of putting all that code into this component, I decided to just make another component around it. And it's just a simple function that takes in some properties, grab, and destructures out the relevant information, and then we have this alert here. We'll look at that in just a moment. And then we pass in these properties, and this is basically just a component that, that the component that you see when we have a success or an error. And so the alert is up here, which is just a dialog, which is once again being plucked from Material UI. And yeah, that's basically it. We pass in the title and the text, like the content text, and then there's just a one single button that says that, hey, just okay because we're just informing about something there's no cancel choice here you can just close the modal and yeah that's uh, that's about it so now that we have uh, constructed most of the like the, the skeleton of this page if you will or this application we're going to have a little bit of a think about okay how do we want to take the next step so we're going to put together some more stories and basically start implementing more of the server. So that's gonna come up next.